Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is our take. We are your hosts, our motion. I'm Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk to you guys today about Netflix's original series titled Beef. Not chicken. Beef. Not pork. Beef. This show stars who, Taylor? Ali Wong as Amy Lau. Stephen Ewan as Danny Cho. Uh, we also get David Cho as Isaac. <laughs> Which was funny. Uh, none of these other characters I saw in that episode, so okay. <laughs> All right. we'll save that. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as the title uh, says, this is an in initial impressions. Uh, this show came out probably about a month ago, I think. It's been out for a little while. April um, 6th. Yeah, April 6th. So, a little over a month ago. Uh, and it's a 10, 10 episode series. We're going to do an initial and a final impressions. Uh, we decided to do this because, um, uh, I, we both really like the main, the main actors and actress in this, uh, show. And, uh, we, I've, I've heard good things from some other people about it. So, yeah. uh, we decided we wanted to give you guys our take. So this is going to be initial impressions. We're only going to talk about the first episode, uh, Neither of us have watched past that, so we don't know what's going on. We're just going to talk about the first episode. Uh, we'll do this in traditional fashion. Spoiler-free content first. Scores, spoilers. So let's get right into it, Taylor. Beef. How did you like it? The first episode. I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just thought it was very weird. It was, uh, it was, and, a, it was a ride. Uh, like I... It had like some funny moments but I, I just thought it was strange yeah it was um it's really thought provoking it's really like like the whole time i was sitting there just trying to think to myself like what 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 is like where are we going with this you know like what what is happening here yeah i mean that's i guess that's maybe that's why i feel like uh indifferent about it is because I, I just don't understand what the, the purpose yeah. of it is I, but I'm intrigued. Like I'm like, all right, I got it. I got it. Like I want to know, well, what's happening? Like where where's this going? I want to know the outcome of this, especially after the end, like the final scene. <laughs> like that was funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> but I just like I'm just like, what is going on here? Um, so I don't know. I like kind of feel the same way. Like I don't want to say I enjoyed it, but I don't want to say I like didn't like it either. I was just the whole time I was just like. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I feel like if I watch one more episode, that would idea. that would either make it or break it. Yeah, make it or break it, basically, because this episode, like the first one, it's like I don't know which Song lean, which makes me lean more towards I just don't like it. Yeah, but the second episode would be my defining mm. decision. Right. Well, let's see. There's a lot that happens in this episode. And um, there's a lot of, like, very interesting character relationships and juxtapositions. There's an obvious theme throughout it that we'll kind of explore a little bit in the spoiler session. But uh, there's a lot that, that kind of goes on and, and is uh, very different. So uh, we'll get into it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll start with some scores. Um, for me, as an initial impressions... I'm gonna give this a six, cause it, it, it's better than the average show in the fact that it's like intrigued me. It's making me want to watch more of it to find out what the hell is going on, or where this story is going. But it didn't like blow me away or anything. So what about you? I'm gonna give this a five because it's very weird, <laughs> and it does have an actor I really love. Yeah. But it doesn't in a way that I do not like. Stephen Ewan, I I love. Yeah, Stephen but you don't like his character. In this? No. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's uh let's get into some spoilers, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't seen this this show already, it's on Netflix, available as of right now, all ten episodes. Um, we're only gonna be talking about the first episode, so we don't really know what we're talking about, obviously. Uh, so just just stick around, hang out with us, and we'll we'll talk about what happens, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be your official spoiler alert. All right, um, that's interesting. That you don't like Stephen Ewan or his character, at least. 
Because I love Steven Ewan too. Like, you know, Walking Dead days. Yep. Boy, boy got, got, oh, man. That was when The Walking Good. Dead died yeah. with Glenn. Yep. And Glenn. Abraham. Yep. <clears throat> I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. So I, I really like Steven Ewan, and that's that's part of, that's half of the reason why I wanted to watch this, because I also really like Ali Wong. Um, she's hilarious. Her stand up is, is awesome. Uh, <clears throat> so to see them in this, I was interested. I was like, all right. Uh, and I, I don't know. I don't mind. What is it that you don't like about Steven Ewan's character? Oh, he's just a loser. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I think that's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, but I, I just don't like that. You don't like to see an actor that you would, you like play a loser. Yeah, I mean, he's just a literal idiot. Yeah. yeah, he's. I mean, he's he's kind of like the definition of a loser. He just, nothing is going his way, and he makes dumb decisions, and then he tries to kill himself by lighting a whole bunch of gas grills on fire inside his room and trying to <clears throat> carbon dioxide himself to death. So, but then he doesn't even do it. <laughs> he's like, nope, I don't want to do this. And he walks out. No. So, I don't know. Yeah, he, he's he's definitely a loser. Uh, but I don't know. I, I, I'm intrigued. I'm more intrigued about his character than I am Ali Wong's character because it seems like it seems like the juxtaposition between the two characters is that Stephen Ewan is at this super low point in his life, doesn't have much, essentially wants to kill himself. And then Ali Wong is at this like super successful point in their life and has everything that she could want, essentially. And then they're at two opposites at the end of the spectrum. I don't know if this is actually going to happen during the season, but what I envision happening is they're going to kind of like... They're going to fall in love. Well, yeah, but their like their stories or their like their um, lives are gonna head in like opposite directions. Like Ali Wong's life is gonna slowly start to crumble, and his life is gonna slowly start to like elevate, and then they're gonna meet in this like middle part, you know, where they find common ground, and then they're gonna fall in love, and Ali Wong's gonna cheat on her husband, and then Stephen Ewan is gonna piss all over the house. <laughs> yep. I'm surprised he didn't take a shit. Yeah, I thought it was shit. I thought it was gonna be a shit. Like he, uh, there's a scene at the end of the episode where he like is in her house because he found found her, and, and then once he realizes she's the one that drove the car, mm -hmm. he goes in her bathroom and just pisses all over the place. It's actually <laughs> impressive yeah. where he manages to get the pee and how much yeah. too. Like, there was a lot of piss. There's enough that it was like leaking out from underneath the yep. door. It looked it, like, yeah, it made it because when she discovers it, it looks like it's flooded. Yeah, I thought he it, flooded the, the bathroom. Yeah, they did it, but nope, it was just a giant puddle of pee. <laughs> it, was, it was really funny. And then he like goes out and she finds it. She's like, what the? What the? And then she runs out after him. And there's this really funny scene of them running through the street. And it's comical because it's in slow motion. Uh, and he gets away and flips her off, and just, I don't know, it was really that part was really funny to me. I I enjoyed that part. Uh, the whole premise of this of this uh, at least the first episode is that there's this road rage road rage incident at the beginning of the of the first episode, and Ali Wong's character almost gets backed into by Steven Ewan's character. And then he chases after her because he's already pissed off about other stuff. And they <laughs> go on this like crazy road rage thing. And he ends up driving through somebody's like yard and stuff. And like, I don't know. I've seen a lot of road rage in my life, but that was, that was excessive. That was a lot. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was weird because it's like really over exaggerated. Yeah. And like, I know it's not, there's not people really realistic that do that. Either. Yeah. It's just, like he 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 wasn't really that close. He just started to back out, and then she happened to be behind right. him, and then she just stops, and just holds down the horn the entire time, and then as you know, just kind of spirals from there. But yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, and I, I don't really get why people get like. I mean, I know a lot of people that do <laughs> have get like road rage, road rage yeah. but. I drive more than most people do, and I don't care that much. Yeah. And I experience a lot shittier situations than this, certainly. And I just don't understand how you get that angry. Like, 
Yeah, I mean, obviously he was pissed off about the fucking cashier guy that he was trying to return the stuff, and she's obviously dealing with some kind of issues. So I think the the idea is that you just never know what people are going through outside of that yeah. that particular moment. But I, I think the end result of them like driving all over the place and acting crazy, like yeah, even that was like <laughs> was unrealistic. Like nobody's gonna, I don't know. And then her like backing up at him and trying to scare him. Just like, that, see that that's the first moment that really bothered me about Stephen Ewan's character. You're not going to all of a sudden go from being confused to all right, I'm gonna be a man and grab my balls. <laughs> and then you're gonna go chase after this person. And then because you are stupid and suck at driving, <laughs> and this person is about to seemingly Man, back into you now you're afraid and cowering and like you're just like no please stop, 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 stop. you put yourself in that situation <laughs> why the fuck are you acting like this you, you were your, just you a second ago acting like you were being brave and stuff and now you're just being a bitch you, you made your bed now go lie in it yeah like just, or or just or, suck less <laughs> or you should just hit her fucking car just drive forward out of the way <laughs> yeah or yeah or just move <laughs> yeah it's not anything. Like it's not or like get you out of the car. I don't know something. Yeah. It's not like you crashed your car and it's, like your car was inoperable. Right. You just spun out. So That's it's just it. you know, drive forward or drive backwards. One of the two. <laughs> I don't know. Was it a was it a Tacoma? Toyota Tacoma. Yeah. That's what I thought. I yeah. I said I sent a text to our mutual friend that's a. The Toyota Tacoma fan. I was like, oh, is this what you guys do? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, assuming it's running. Yeah. <laughs> assuming it's running. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, but I, I do agree. It's kind of kind of ridiculous and just like, all right, it's a little extra. Yeah. Like the flipping off, that was funny. Yeah. That makes sense. So, yeah. People sure. do that. Yeah. But 100%. all the other stuff, uh, okay. It's a little <laughs> much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, and then the, the brother. The brother was kind of funny. <laughs> brother was hilarious. Yeah. That was hilarious. Um, I I also didn't understand why he took the the, account. the loan. Yeah, and put it into the account. That that was just confusing to me. I think what happened. I don't was, know what it was supposed to like portray or whatever. But obviously, there's some kind of history with that kid, with his brother, right. and and uh, cryptocurrency or or some kind of stock investing or whatever. Um, and then damn that was something i forgot about fast x they what? had a moment of uh it was ludicrous and the other girl and they're like blah blah blah, blah dark web blah 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 blockchain crypto like, oh. <laughs> yeah I we just, didn't even I, talk about pete davidson yeah i hate people that fucking do that or just show it's just trying to insert the language of things yeah that nobody actually really knows yeah understand. just to sound cool yeah yeah but I think what happened is that that he had some kind of history or whatever, and then so he took the login info from his brother, which it was weird that his brother just like freely gave it up. He's like, "Oh, you're gonna have to pay rent." But if you had all that money in your account, why would you be so afraid of paying rent? Well, because it's not always there. Yeah, true. Which is what we find out. Because then he he logs into the account, sees how much is in there, and how much was made. There was like a two thousand um, dollar. There's a two thousand dollar green day. We, yeah, uh, and then he goes to a family friend or an uncle or whatever that is a loan shark, essentially, not good people. Borrows twenty thousand dollars from him, puts it into the account, and then the next day he loses seventeen of it. Yeah, but that's yeah. just that's how it goes. Yeah, that's how that's how it should go. That's exactly why if you have no idea what that stuff what is, you're doing, don't just, don't just mess with nonchalant. It like Throw, drop money yeah. into it just look at it i mean you're basically treating it like stocks oh it is it's the same yeah. it's essentially it's the just same thing. it's more volatile though yeah it's, it's a more lot, volatile it's a lot than stocks. different um and it's it, i would say it's uh equal well i guess it could technically equally be as involved but crypto is very uh yeah, okay. yeah, crypto is it's just it's just fragile yeah. <laughs> Very volatile. Can yeah. go up really fast, go down really, really, really fast. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm interested to see how that kind of plays. Like, if there's going to be a reoccurring theme of like that going up and down. 
You know what I mean? Like yeah. maybe next episode it's going to go back up and he's going to be like, oh, I have more money now. I can go buy this property or whatever. And and then it's going to go back down. And we're going to get this roller coaster of it going up and down, which I don't know. It's not really something we've seen very often before. So it'd be interesting to see how they incorporate that into the story. Yeah. Yeah. Another really um, interesting. What, do you know what? Um, I don't think I was paying attention that well. Do you know what game his brother was playing? Ooh. No, I don't. I don't. I don't remember seeing enough of the screen. I just know see. it wasn't an, an FPS shooter. Yeah, I, I don't remember what it was exactly. I don't know. It's not really that important. I just, <laughs> yeah, I just. That's no, funny. <laughs> he can't play right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I don't know what game it was. What did you think of the uh, whole Illuminati Society eating mushrooms <laughs> dinner thing? <laughs> that uh, that. Ali Wong and her husband went to. Well, I mean, just... <laughs> I thought it was funny because that's just exactly what I imagined Californians yeah, to do. Much. Like, if you're a rich person in California, like, I feel like that's just like a regular Saturday night for you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, actually, maybe even like a Thursday night. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but that, like, that just is what I envision when I think of th- that kind of yeah. person. Yeah, so because of that, I just didn't think of anything of it. Yeah, just this seems, like, okay. this seems like par for the course. Yeah. 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 But uh, 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 Ali Wong's character, like, I, it just seems like a, exactly what I would expect, I guess, from, not from her as an actor, but just like uh, that type of character, like, yeah, very typical, horrible family. Right. Being treated Rich, like shit by her. Doesn't really know what she wants. Has these like fake dreams that she has been following. Is part of that weird. Yeah. Successful, upper, but doesn't. Successful, but not happy. Yeah. Not happy. Yeah. And it's just like, okay. I mean, and her just, husband is a fruitcake. Yeah. Also, I don't. I know we haven't really like got into it yet, but I don't understand why. Well, I guess I, that's more of the question is I don't know who owns the firearm. Oh. But. Yeah, so there's this very interesting scene, ladies and gentlemen, of Ali Wong's character trying to access a safe that they have. The passcode that she put in is wrong. Then she approaches her husband about it, and her husband is like, oh, I changed the passcode. And she asks for the new combo, and he's like, no, you know why I won't give it to you, which implies that there's some kind of history yeah. there. Then we see her go through her husband's planner and figure out the code, essentially. And there's a gun in there, um, a SIG. Looks like a compact version of the 226. Uh, And then she has some fun with it, but not in the way that most people have fun with guns. Yeah. So we'll just leave it at that for the younger audience. Yeah. and it's a, it's kind. It's just an interesting scene because it just it's just begging you to be like, what? Well, why? Yeah. Like, what is going on? It, that combined with the fact that there's obviously some kind of pre-existing history about the gun or about the safe or whatever, um, and like you said, we don't actually know who the gun belongs to. We don't know if it's the father or the husband's gun or her gun, or you know what, but. Yeah, uh, I mean it's also weird because like that type of person, with within that world, we'll yeah. call, doesn't usually they usually associate don't with that. Yeah. yeah, they usually are the people that are calling for gun reform and get rid of the guns. Yeah, and, and it's not like it was anything like crazy. It's just no. it's just literally a, just a, a pistol. pistol, but it's just weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Obviously, that's going to get should be explained at some point in in this series. Uh, it did make for a pretty funny moment where Stephen Newton's at the door and she's like, "You should know I have a gun." <laughs> she's like, it's like, "Okay, <laughs> yeah." Uh, I don't know. It was uh, it was interesting. I'll say, yeah. A lot of a lot of those moments in this episode. A lot of those moments of like. I know what I'm seeing on screen, but I don't really understand what I'm seeing on screen. Yeah. I mean, I don't what know is why. Happening. Yeah, like, why is this part of the story, and what's what purpose does it serve? Yeah, 
called. Which, you know, to be fair, it is the first episode. Yeah. But and, at and the this same is, time, it's like, I feel like I should kind of have something yeah. to be hooked on. But I don't, I don't understand what it's supposed to be. Like, I don't know if it's just the fact that they have this controversy or whatever conflict between them. I don't them. know. You know but what's it's interesting? It's not really like that much of a focus. Like, it's there. Yeah. I don't know. I just had this thought as you were talking about that, that I wonder if there's some kind of like programming that we've had in our brains when it comes to TV shows specifically, uh, because in the old, I don't want to say old days, because it's up until like the last like six or seven years, but the way that you got an, a TV show made was you created a pilot right. and you pitched that pilot to studios, right? Or to um, uh, networks. And then if they liked your pilot, then they would fund the rest more of the, yeah. of the rest of the series, right? Now, on streaming sites like Netflix and a Amazon, you pitch the whole story to them. And if they like it, then they build the episode. So I wonder if there's like some on in uh, some just natural programming that we've had to where we expect the first episode of the season to give us a decent amount of the picture in order to like draw us into the story enough to want to watch the rest of the season. Cause that's how it was for so long as the, like the pilots of a lot of shows, they had to get attention, right? They had to do stuff to, to get people's attention, to want you to, for you to want to watch the rest of the season, to be intrigued, to be invested. So I wonder if there's like, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I mean, it could if it wasn't for the fact that I have seen other shows recently that don't have this problem, mm. and they're very like, like wild. I mean, even even Ted Lasso has more sense to me. Uh, I just recently started watching. Um, I didn't know it was a series, but SWAT, mm. uh, oh, which came out only it? a couple of years ago, I think, or at least when it initially aired. Uh -huh. I don't know how many seasons there are now, but that seems pretty straightforward to me. Like <laughs> it's got like uh, characters and stuff that I know. I only know from the movie, but um, it also is an A twenty four studios production, so that might yeah. I mean, that's the a, that's the biggest thing is I guess because it's A twenty four, like it, it just makes sense that it's just weird. Yeah, but it's it still needs some. Uh, yeah. You still some, need to tie it all together. Yeah. Which is what we're waiting for. Yeah. Which, you know, maybe it's this next episode that we'll watch and maybe it'll. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was saying. You know, the second yeah. episode is kind of really the, the, the real, the real one. Yeah. 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 I'm, int I'm intrigued. I'm going to watch it. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to finish the season and, uh, you know, we'll revisit <clears throat> you ladies and gentlemen. Did you guys see this yet? Have you guys seen this show in its entirety or partially uh what are your guys thoughts about it and uh do you guys want to see a final impressions video on the whole the whole series or whole season i should say um let us know down in the comments below we would love to hear from you guys about this or any of the other things that we talk about here on any kind media uh we also just found out that we actually reached our subscriber goal the uh, true goal. The, the true goal that we set at the beginning of this whole adventure. So this is actually our final episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. So sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but we can't we can't afford to get any more subscribers because then it'll just ruin yeah. that perfect number. In fact, we can't even trust the channel to stay up. With yeah, no we're just going to delete episodes, it. So we have to terminate the entire thing. <laughs> We would never do that to you, ladies and gentlemen. We would never do that to you. Thank you guys for subscribing and supporting. We really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been giving us. Again, we'd really love to hear more from you guys. Um, so let us know down in the comments below if there's anything you guys would like to see us cover or if you guys have any questions or anything. Just let us know. We'd love to hear from you guys. Appreciate you. Love you. Please like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend. Check out our social media links, social media links as well as the other shows here on Any Kind Media. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.